My name is Marta Dubois. I've been an actress for over 35 years. Uh, the last six years, I've been primarily teaching. I have often thought that what defined me was what I did, and upon reflection, just fairly recently, I realized that it's not what I've done that has defined me, it's what I've said no to. All my years as an actress, I always had parameters. I always knew them. I was not a practicing Catholic, but I always understood that I had a sense of morality. Once again, it was the Holy Spirit working within me, unbeknownst even to me, my guardian angel always at my side. I had instances where I had to say no to certain scripts, no to certain series because of what they were asking me to do. I didn't even understand why I was saying no. Basically, I was saying no to, to, to the invitation to the devil's party. I didn't realize this. But what I was saying at the time was, get behind me, Satan, because I knew that I couldn't live with what they were asking me to do. One instance in particular, I was asked to do a feature film with a well-known star, and. Uh, in it, I was to uh, get involved with him uh, romantically. He, a priest, and then I find out later on that he's also my brother. Now, when I found out, having read the script, what was going to happen, I said instantly no. My agents, of course, thought I was crazy because it was going to be working with a big director and a big star. And so uh, they don't understand, no. They only understand ambition and opportunity. And when opportunity presents itself, you take it no matter what. That's not how I worked. That's not how I lived my career. Recently, I was asked to do a series. And all over the place, there were the Pope jokes, the Christ jokes, the Christian jokes, the, the Catholic jokes. Now, if I said early on in my career, no to those things before Jesus was in my life actively, what am I going to do now? Go backwards? Of course not. It was no sacrifice, not in the long run and not upon reflection and not in retrospect because um, I had to live with myself at the time. When I look in the mirror, I see me. Uh, could my parents look at it? Could my husband look at it? So with all of that in mind, it was easy to say no, however much the money was. And there were times when the money was on the table. If you're not rooted, if you're not anchored, if you have no moral compass, you will dive. And it's usually off a cliff. You've got to hold true to what you know is right and what you know is wrong. You have to be true to the truth, and the truth is with a capital T. If you live in accordance to that, he will guide you. He'll never do you wrong, and he won't steer you wrong. But you've got to believe in that.